Hey, so I remember, you know, as a young girl or a young teenager, how exciting it was to go to particular parts in the, in the neighborhood in the black culture, baby. And um, there was this one, there, there were many of them, but there was this one particular part where we all would go. I don't know how the hell we got there. We probably caught the bus because it was kind of far from home. But everybody was there. And it was so exciting to see all these cute girls that I used to see in school that I thought was so cute and stuff. And then to see everybody all out there. There were all ranges of people, children and adults. The music was playing. Somebody was always barbecuing. And it was just so much fun. It was so peaceful, too. Because I told you, I don't remember guns ever growing up with guns in our neighborhood <clears throat> at all. And being concerned about guns. Um, yeah, they were arguing. People, we always argue. That's what. That's why I said people don't understand our culture. We're always going to be arguing and going back and forth, back and forth. But then that's the end of it. I don't. So guns were introduced into the community, just like you know, just like Ronald Reagan introduced certain things. So, I mean, it's all. It was all. There was always a master plan. A master plan. There was always a master plan. But anyway, I just remember how I look forward to that because, of course, when we were in school during you know during the week, you know we had to behave a certain way and we had to get to our classes and this and that and the other. I don't ever remember black students to my. Uh, I don't even remember any of us fighting and all this and that and the other. You know, I was going to I when when young okay when young white boys would bother me, okay when young white boys would bother me. I put up with it for so long, and then once I beat him up, <laughs> well, and that's what happened. Okay, they kept teasing me. I used to be teased all the time when I was I, when I was in elementary school, and I never told, I never really said. I think I put a video out. I never said, never said who was teasing me, but it was always it was always white males. <clears throat> okay, always white males pulling my pulling my hair and this and that and the other. So when I got had enough of it and I would beat him up, and we go to the principal's office, who always got a paddling? It was always me, because you know these little white boys would start. You know what what happened is as soon as we get so nobody's crying as we're walking to the principal's office. I'm cool. I'm just walking and you know minding my own business walking. Okay, and as soon as we get inside the principal's office, the white males will cry like little fucking babies and saying, oh, she hurt me. She hurt me. And I'm sitting there wondering what the fuck is going on. And of course, I was always the one that got in trouble. But the point of the matter is, I loved going to that park because everybody was there. We were having a good time. Nobody had guns, to my knowledge. No knives, to my knowledge. And it was just, it was like a family. Okay. The only issue came is when it became dark. And then that's when the police department, and keep in mind, law enforcement has always been mostly white supremacists. Okay. Always has been. All right. So anybody, you know, even though they may have a, a handful of blacks in there, it's still a white supremacy. It's all, it's, all, it's always been. That's where the KKK can hide and do their, their, their deeds and not be, nobody will bother them. All right. So that's where the problem would usually run in with us is that we, you know, as soon as the sun went down, you know, we, we, we usually knew to, to take our asses home, but sometimes people would linger because we were having such a good time. The music and, oh, I, I just remember how lovely that was. But anyway, so the police would show up, of course, and break us up. And make us go home. And, you know, and think about it. When does the police bring in a whole arsenal, a whole arsenal of force to which community that always is directed towards? Right? You know, like I said, you know, treating like. Yeah, you, you, we know how we were treated, okay? You know, they always brought in these canines. I told you what German Shepherds are. German Shepherds were 
train originally back in Germany. Right? Weren't, weren't they? To be killing machines. To kill. And, um, but yeah, the police would show up. And the reason the police would show up and, and try and disperse black people at night is because white people had pr trouble seeing at night. Okay, let's just admit that. Because in the, in the, that's what a lot of them used to say to me. They have a hard time with their vision at night. I don't know. Is that true or not? And that's why they can't tell us apart. That's why they always say all black people look alike. All right? So that's a great plot, isn't it? Good gosh. See how that stuff just flow in me? It flow in me even on, on Saturday morning. My goodness. Something to consider and be creative with it. I'll come back with more. Peace and love.